Bravo, bravo, bravo. Bravo, Clyde Parker. I see you, uh, you managed to <laughs> convince these people here that you were soft over a skirt, a bra. Like those tricks we used to run back during the day. What, 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 you mad? Man, sit down here at this poker table and stop tripping. You used to be gangster. You want to gamble, Charlie? You come up in my house, you drink all my top shelf liquor. Your car is parked safely in my cobblestone driveway that my mayhem built. And now, you want to disrespect me, and you want my money. All right, let's gamble, Charlie. Up, y'all! It's roulette ready. <laughs> this right here. This called Russian roulette. You only as good as your last bet. I'm gonna go first. Gangster. It's your turn, Charlie. Uh, look, look at Clyde. I, I, I was just playing, man. Uh, Man, we can talk about this guy. Your turn! Come on, Clyde, man. We go way back, man. You don't have to do this, man. It's your turn, Charlie. I was sitting in my bedroom one night, home alone, wasn't nobody there with me, just by myself there. I was doing something in the bedroom and I heard this noise, sound in my, in my kitchen. And I went into the kitchen and as I go into the kitchen, I realized the refrigerator door is sitting wide open. Now, obviously, I didn't leave the refrigerator door open and just walk away, but it was open. So I closed it and went on back into the living room. And later on that night, I heard the sound again. I go in there and the refrigerator door is open again. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's happening here? And I turned, and when I turned around, what I realized was that the gentleman that was sitting on the couch was the gentleman that was laying in the casket. My first encounter I've ever experienced was when I got hurt and I saw my angel. He was a tall Indian man with long hair and he had a red Nissan truck and no one else saw him but me. Even though I was alone, it never felt like I was alone in the house. I would always hear these creaking sounds from behind the walls, and it always felt like somebody was watching me from the other side of the vents. My name is Obaka Adedunyo. I decided to bring Julie today to meet Lorena. Um, I thought it'd be great for her, especially because Julie's trying to like, you know, get into the industry. And I thought Lorena would be perfect. I mean, she's perfect. Hi, Hi. Hi. The love is in Ooh. the air. Did you dye her ears pink? Uh, she got little highlights, oh. you know. <laughs> So the reason I brought Julie here today is mm -hmm. because she's actually trying to, you know, break into the fitness industry and kind of get a stepping stone. Of, what is that look? So, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I was really excited to meet Lorena, but I think she was downright cold. 
Yeah, I just kind of wanted to pick your brain a little bit, get okay. an idea more about. So the when industry. did you when did you start? Yeah, so I've been training for a few months now. You have? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, daily. You know. For how long? For about two months. So you were bigger. I mean, I know I need some advice here and there and some motivation, but she flat out was a total jerk about the whole situation. If you want to be in the fitness industry, you need to tone up. You right. know, these lose a couple pounds and, you know, like get firm. You need it. I mean, it's not necessarily that you have to be small. You just want to get rid of the body fat mm -hmm. or like a majority of it and then build muscle instead. So you don't look loose. You know what I mean? Like you look tight. Look loose? Yeah, like your arms How do you are look loose? wobbly, <laughs> fluffy. Oh, okay. Fluffy. I don't know why she's being so uptight. Like I'm just trying to help her. She's the one that wants to be a fitness model, and I'm here to help her. But I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So if she can't take the real deal, then she needs to move on. Okay. So enough about all this. I wanted to kind of talk to you about something. Um, it was something we discussed a while back. <clears throat> I was at a friend's. Uh -huh. And I saw the Blackman magazine, and it just so happens that your spread was in there. Yeah. Um, the not so exciting part is that I totally thought that you weren't going to do that because we kind of had that conversation. So, what do you think you're, is bad? I mean, I don't think it's bad per se. I just think you're above it. Last time I checked, I made my own decisions, and as much as I love her, I do not need her approval. So, of course, I want to see the best for you. And I just personally think, and I thought we agreed, that that wasn't the best choice. She is to stay in her lane. She has a little bit of a control issue. Like, we are such great friends and I love her. But she, I mean, she just thinks she runs my life and I need to run everything by her. And that's not the case. I'm not her damn poodle. 